Hey, what's up everyone? I am going to show you what I got here. This is a stopcock or a three-way valve. And what I did, I bought this bulk group supply, about 20 bucks. Um, and here you go. The blue line is the product water after it crosses the membrane. And it usually goes up to here into the first DI resin and then the second and then you know it goes into uh, my tub here well when you kick these on you'll get uh, basically high TDS flowing into your your can your resin and uh, yeah I know I need to replace this here the way I have this here my meter I have it going right uh, past the first canister so I can turn it on and see what's coming out here. It's still measuring at zero, uh, but if it goes up to like one or something, it doesn't matter because this can has fresh, clean resin. Once it hits one or so, I'll take this off. I'll put this canister, which is pretty new, onto here, film a new canister and put it right up here. I just want to make sure that I'm getting the most I can from this. But so this is a, a diverter, it's a three-way valve. So when I start this up, instead of water going here, I'll show you. I just have this kind of, I'm just gonna put this there for now. But I can divert this down. Turn on my water, there it goes on, and I'm spilling water all over the floor. Um, so I can run this for a good, you know, minute or so just to get rid of some of that creep uh, so it doesn't, you know, pollute my membranes. You know, you might think, okay, 20 bucks for a valve, is it worth it? Here, let me turn this off. Um, I'll hold it with my teeth, I'm not going to talk for a sec. Okay, now water's not coming from here, and you can hear it's going into my bucket. So let me turn this off. So is $20 worth it for a valve? I think so, because uh, my TDS coming out of here is actually pretty high. I don't know if it's because I have uh, the soft water um, before this, if it has something to do with that, I don't know. But if I can save resin, all the better. Uh, when I got this, you know, I had the, the, the one DI uh, resin canister and I upgraded and got the second one but I probably made you know 40 gallons these are 44 gallon containers 40 gallons times well and then I filled this one up so maybe 40 gallons times three if you will it's hard to you know determine because I've filled this up and I, I've you know gotten uh, a gallon of RO water I don't know, maybe once a week or so for a month. Uh, and then I've also filled some water up and I filled this fruit container over here up. Um, you know, I have some rocks kind of curing in there uh, or being seeded with bacteria, I mean. So, you know, uh, this will save some life of the resin. This right here, I mean, I could run it in here and uh, waste water that way. However, I bought one of these valves here. So what I'm going to do, my black line here is the waste. I still need to cut those things. And it goes out there. I'm just going to cut into there, attach this on there, so it goes in with that waste line. I haven't done it yet. Um, I just have to really th I just want to think this through because you know I don't want to, any wastewater siphoning. It shouldn't siphon in here because when this is running, wastewater is being produced there. It's both going out. There's pressure in it, and then you know when I turn it off, this acts as a, a, a check valve. Basically, it stops the siphon, so it's not like wastewater is going to be pouring in here, and wastewater shouldn't pour back there. So, uh, if it sounds legit and kosher, send a message. Um, so yeah, that's it.
$20. I was going to buy, you know, a couple valves. They don't sell these at Lowe's or Home Depot, but they do sell one-way valves, and I think they're 8 bucks each. I'd have to buy two of them and then buy, like, a T. And the reviews I've read on them, they got, like, one star, um, the, the John Guest fittings or ball valves at, like, Home Depot and Lowe's. I guess they're really cheap and they leak from, you know, a lot of people. So I've heard. But, uh, yeah, that's it. And, of course, I made this black so it matches the waistline so I know what it is. And, uh, you know, this took me 20 seconds to do, if that. Um, you know, and technically I could put the, the, I'm zooming in right here, as far as my TDS meter before that, somewhere like right there, and turn it on so when I'm flushing it I can read it and go, okay, it's at zero now. I, I suppose I could do that. I'm not going to, you know. But, um, I don't know. So that's it. I just have to kind of splice this in, and that is how to kind of prolong life in your DI resin. All right. Thanks for watching.